हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आयुषी जॉर्ज फैकल्टी ऑफ माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी सो टुडे विल बी डूइंग द मैथ्स वर्क इन योर मैथ्स नोटबुक चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज नंबर्स द एक्सप्लेनेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन एंड टिल चेक पॉइंट टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इन द मैथ्स नोटबुक टुडे वील बी डूइंग द फर्दर वर्क विच इज फ्रॉम चेक पॉइंट थ्री so bring your maths notebook your pencil and eraser and children remember one thing from now onwards we'll start maintaining the index so when you will open your notebook on the first page there is index serial number date topic and page number like this so you will fill this now we'll start the work from check point 3 Check point three. Question number one. Write the place value of the digit in the given numbers. So here they have given you first is six thousand five hundred and eighty four. So you have to write this number in the place value chart. So whenever we write in the place value, we always start from the last number. So four is on the place of ones. Eight is on the place of tens. Five is on the place of hundreds and six is on the place of thousands. Now B is six thousand six hundred and two. So two is on the place of ones. Six is on the place of tens. This six is on the place of hundreds and three is on the place of thousands. Now C is one thousand eight hundred and twenty-seven. So seven is on the place of ones. Two is on the place of tens. Eight is on the place of hundreds and one is on the place of thousands. Now, second question: Write the expanded form of each of the given numbers. So here we have to write the expanded form. Whenever we write the expanded form, we always start from the first number. In the place value, we always start from the last number, but in the expanded form, we always start from the first number. So ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So five is on the thousands place. So in thousands we have how many zeros? We have three zeros. So we have written three zeros. In hundred, how many zeros? We have two zeros. So we have written two zeros. And in tens, how many zeros we have? We have one zero. So we have written one zero. And in ones, how many zeros we have? We have no zero. So we have written nine as it is. Now B is. One is on the thousands place. So in thousands we have three zeros. So we have written three zeros, and nine is on the hundreds place. So in hundreds we have two zeros. So we have written two zeros, and ten is on the uh, two is on the place of ten. So we have written one zeros. Now three is on the place of one. So in ones we have no zero. So we have written three as it is. Now. Let's practice question number one. Write the numbers as per description. Is the smallest four-digit odd number? So here you have to write the smallest four-digit odd number. That is one zero zero one. Now B is the biggest four-digit even number. Nine 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 eight. C is the smallest four-digit even number. One zero zero zero. D is the biggest four-digit odd number, nine 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 nine. Now, question number two: Write the number names of each of the following numbers. So here they have given you the number, and you have to write their names. So first is three zero eight nine, three thousand eighty nine. So three thousand and Eighty nine. B is five thousand two hundred and forty one. So five thousand two hundred and forty one. Now C is seven thousand eight hundred and twenty five. So seven thousand eight hundred and twenty five. Now third question is write the numbers. So here they have given you the names and you have to write the numbers. A is Four thousand twenty, four zero two zero. B is nine thousand eighty two, nine zero eight two. C is seven thousand 
फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सो सेवन फोर फोर जीरो फोर्थ इज फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज नेम अ नंबर दैट कम्स बिफोर नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन्टी नाउ दे आर सेंग नेम अ नंबर दैट कम्स बिफोर दिस नंबर सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल चिल्ड्रन लाइक वी हैव टेकन नंबर टेन ओके सो बिफोर टेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक वी हैव टेकन नंबर टेन सो बिफोर टेन वॉट कम्स बिफोर टेन नाइन कम्स सो लाइक दिस दे आर आस्किंग नेम अ नंबर दैट कम्स बिफोर नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सो वॉट वॉट विल कम नाइन थाउजेंड एट्टी नाइन Now fifth question name a number that comes after 8000 now they are saying name a number that come after 8000 so children for example like we have 11 now after 11 what comes after 11 12 comes so like this we have to write here name a number that comes after 8000 so what will come 8001 now for your homework you will do this make your choice choose the correct answer this is choose the correct answer now first question is dash is the successor of 6110 so you will see which one is correct and you will write here question 2 in 8729 place value of 7 is you will see from here and you will write here Question three: Find the missing numbers in the sequence given below. You will see which number is correct, A, B, or C. You will see, you will see from here which one is correct, and you will write here. Question number four: Which of the following is the number name of nine thousand forty? So, you will see from here, and you will write. Now, question fifth: Which number comes after? Seven thousand one hundred and twenty-nine, but before seven thousand one hundred and thirty-one. So you will see from your answers are given, and you will see which one is correct. Now question number six: Dash is an even number. So you will see from here which one is correct, and you will write here. Question seven: Dash are greater than five thousand seven hundred and fifty-five. So you will see from here which one is correct: A, B, C, or D. So you will write here. Now eighth is which of the following is the correct arrangement of numbers from the smallest to the biggest? So you will see which one is correct: A, B, C, or D. So you will write. and this is the very humble request from the parents to check the work of your ward with a pencil whether he or she is doing correct work thank you